Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's David Webb. <laughs> I'm Arielle Edwards. We get nerdy nightly. And we thought we'd share it with you. That's right. I have headphones in because we're doing a trailer reaction to the new Tom and Jerry trailer starring yeah. Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's, um... Should we just jump right into it? Hey, let's let's go right, for let's it. Can... You know, go big or go home. That's right. This monitor is so far away. But let's do it. Ooh. After a lifetime of being the world's most famous enemies. You can't count on me like one, two, three. I'll Tom and Jerry are on. about to start. We're definitely gonna get copyright claims for this song. <laughs> In the big city. Wow. What? Is this a kids movie? This hotel has been host to four presidents, three popes, two kings, and we're about to host the wedding of the century. Okay. Do you think you're qualified to take on this position? I shine under pressure. Do you think I'm you're qualified? For Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing. We have a mouse problem. But the what now? I'll catch it, sir. I mean, it's New York. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so detailed. What? We could hire an exterminator. Or we can leverage millions of years of predatory evolution. <laughs> what is this movie? <laughs> That was cool. That was funny. Tweet it out to Insta Book Face or Tiki Talk. We will be ruined. No, sir. It's not gonna happen. That rodent is toast. Is he? I will not let this hotel be ruined by a. Hey, what's up, Ken Jong? He's dying with us. I think I might have just pulled this off. Really? We blowing up the whole thing. Everybody in the bouncy house go bouncy, bouncy. That's not what I wanted. Okay. All righty then. <laughs> um, all right. How do you feel about that? Cool. Um, well, hmm, interesting. Um, here's the thing. As soon as you take, like, the violence of Tom and Jerry and you put it in, like, something yeah. that looks like the real world, it kind of changes it. It's, yeah... If if the whole world was animated, the violence wouldn't seem that bad. Yeah. But it seemed so aggressively violent because yeah, I was like, oh my god, like, do can pe can like cartoon characters not die in this world? Well, I mean, no. I Probably. guess they just live forever. Like, I I um I have questions. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. Also, the fact that like they have a mouse problem in the hotel and that the house has a room. Also, they have one mouse. They like. Mouse problem. Yeah, and also he seems like a he seems like a, a like a smart mouse. Like he can work a printer. Like I feel like you could make a deal with him. You could be like, hey, um, can you not go to this wedding? And he'd be like, yeah, all right, just pay me in cheese. Yeah, or like, hey, like buddy, um, you can live here if you stay only in like this room or something. Like that. You mm -hmm. know, like we'll give you a hotel room, whatever the heck it is. I also love that she's like, we could hire an extinguisher or exterminator. Extinguisher. Extinguisher. We could hire an exterminator. Or we could leverage hundreds of years of predatory whatever. And I was like, yeah, so you hired an exterminator. Like, I get that your exterminator is a cat, but you're still hiring him at, like, the... I'm curious. I, it, uh -huh. it looks, like, the slapstick stuff looks funny. It just, that, that, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I, here's the thing. After watching that, I'd be like, mm, nah. Yeah. I will say the cast looks dope. Ken Jeong, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rob Delaney, uh, who else was in there? Um, Michael Pena, 
Chloe Grace Moritz is honestly like the the. I, I'm assuming that she's playing like the straight woman to the like comedic um, force of. Um, I can't remember. Is Tom the mouse or is Jerry the mouse? Uh, I actually don't know. Uh, it's Tom Cat and Jerry the mouse. Tom Cat. Yeah. That oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks fine. Is yeah. that bad? Like, it looks fine. Like, yeah, I'm like, cool. Maybe it's funny, maybe it's not. That's a movie. I also love that they're like, we're about to host the wedding of the century. And then the trailer didn't show who was getting married. Yeah, like, what famous celebrity I had no context married? for like, that. Like, I need to know. Other than the fact that the elephants are also animated. But no, nothing else was. Maybe yeah. all animals are animated in that world, which would be wild. Because then, like, they were cooking meat. So then, were they eating animated animals that were sentient? Okay, that's... There's a line. <laughs> we're drawing it. Because I, I am... Uh, woof. Okay. Wait. Wait. Are all animals... Oh, my God. Wait, because the... Yeah, because the pigeons were also animated. So all... Is everyone in this world a vegetarian? Also, the pigeons were rappers. What? The pigeons rapped. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, at the beginning of the trailer, the pigeon was, like, flying, but also, like, rapping. Or singing. So, like, oh, all wow. animals... So everyone in this world has to be vegetarian. If they serve any meat in I'm this movie, it's going to be really freaking weird. I'm uncomfortable. I do not like that. Meet Gate 2021. Mm, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, y'all, uh, I think And on that note... And on, and on that note... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the, the, when you make movies like this, when you have a real world and you have animated people in them, I feel like it behooves you to, like, comment on that in a smart way. Like, I think, um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit... Rabbit? Who Framed Roger Rabbit... Bam, bam... Who framed Roger Rabbit commented on it in a smart way? Um, yeah. what What's the one with Brad Pitt? Not Cool Runnings. What's it called? Joe Cool or something? I don't um, didn't. There, it's a it's a weird like sex Brad Pitt animated movie. It's very it's very odd. Uh, go watch it if you can. Um, <laughs> the okay. premise is basically if it's it's basically Who Framed Roger Rabbit, except when you go into the animated world, if an animated character has sex with a real person, they can come into the human world. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was the That's... '90s, kids. Um, this movie seems to be going <laughs> is somewhere down the middle of those two things in yeah. a way that I, I hope it's good, but like that was a weird trailer. That was a weird trailer. I'm just very uncomfortable about the whole like eating like animated animals who are sentient yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna skip over that yeah um well this was fun <laughs> models makes a space fan space jam is also a super weird movie yeah because like there's aliens outside of earth were animated and then the looney tunes underground are animated and earth is in the middle of those two things i the space jam if you really if you get high enough and watch space jams and you start thinking about it that movie will hurt your yeah. brain <laughs> yeah I Yikes. think that's a good place to end this video on. <laughs> yeah, and on that note... <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Uh, this was fun. Uh, the whole day was fun, but watching that trailer with you was uh, an experience. Uh, if you like this video and other videos like it, please like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell down below. Uh, that's for the YouTube people. Uh, if you watch live on Twitch, thank you so much. We stream live on twitch.tv slash nerdynightly and... Uh, Twitch.tv slash Claris Dracaris. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, oh, a final thing for this video. Robinson Hatton, thank you for using your Prime sub on us. You could use that sub anywhere and use it on the Nerdy Nightly, which means <laughs> the world to us. We will see you all very soon. And like we always say, my name's David Webb. I'm Arielle Edwards. Do something nerdy tonight. <laughs> Bye. Bye.